So how do you find these people? For me, I join a society. There's lots of societies out there. There's, um, there's breakfast clubs. There's, um, there's groups inside of LinkedIn. There's a uh, society for growing uh, wealth, being a better person. You know, for me, I joined the Man of War Society. You guys can look it up. Maybe it's for you. Maybe it's not. Uh, each time, everywhere you go. But there's different, different levels of places you can plug yourself into. Please, for the love of God, do not get caught up in the, 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 you know, the Joneses of who's better from this, what's better here. They got this, so I have to have that. That doesn't apply to us anymore. That, that world doesn't exist. It doesn't work well. But if you were to find people that truly want to strive and the things you want to strive for, how much fun is that? Let's, let's take business out of it for a second. You know, I have a, um, a friend. She's a rock climber. Loves a rock climb. She joined a couple of rock climbing clubs. And now she's, she's going to, um, what was it? Last year, she uh, climbed a half dome up in the Sierras. She said she never would have done that if she hadn't joined the club and figured out what are ways to do it. And they helped her train. They promoted her. They were excited for her. They, you know, cheered for her. And she learned so much more and pushed on. She found champions in her little group for what she wanted to do in just a sport. How amazing is that? That fulfillment inside, you know, that, that right here in your soul, that you feel that it's just somebody that's good. Um, you guys got to listen to Andy yesterday or last week in the podcast on the 10X. He is my number one champion. You know, I don't even know how much I was able to convey that in that podcast. I talk to that man every single day. How's he doing? How's his business doing? You know, he just landed. Um, well, he works for Edward Jones. I better be very careful what I say here and not say. A very wealthy individual yesterday, and it was a great day for him. And he believes that he can bring another 4% to his portfolio every single year above and beyond what his old financial advisor did. He just brought that guy a whole lot of more wealth. The guy is happy. He's excited. He's working on his estate portfolio, all those different things all because he was able to show them what it could be. That's a huge moment for him. I'm stoked for him. I'm proud of him. I'm super proud of him that he was added, able to add value to somebody else. You know, in my, you know, that's that society, that circle. One of the other things is, is there's always that mentorship. You know, you can always hire a mentor, somebody that's going to push you. And, and make mentors that go more on the six months, I don't agree to it. That's me personally. Um, three month mentor, six month mentor, give you that boost up and let you kind of run on your own for a little bit. I love those type of mentorships. That's a great way to meet people. Really good mentors. You're not the only one they're training. You're going to find people that are like you in that group and you're going to talk to them and you're going to feed off of them. Um, there's also platforms on LinkedIn and Facebook forums that you can find really good champions out there. Um, harder, not going to lie. There's haters in those little groups. There's little sharks in the water. You gotta be careful with that, but for the most part, you can find that.